Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be replacing my stock fuel injectors on my 1990 Jeep Cherokee. I'm going to be putting in Jeep Liberty injectors from the uh, 2002 to 2007 model 3.7 liter V6. These injectors have four port spray EV14 technology, so it's the latest and greatest technology compared to my old units. So these have uh, an EV6 connector on there. So that means I'm going to have to cut off the stock EV1 connector and put on these EV6 clips. Got these off of uh, eBay. So I will be uh, cutting, soldering, and heat shrinking. While I'm pulling off the fuel rail, I will be replacing the fuel pressure regulator. I am having difficulty with starting. Takes me a couple uh, cracks to get it going. That will help, along with probably I got a leaky fuel injector. And of course I have a fire extinguisher on hand in case things go bad. Hopefully not. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first off I want to pull my fuel pump relay so that my fuel rail gets purged of all the fuel. So I'll just wait till that uh, purges and the engine dies out. Next, remove the negative lead on the battery. Next, remove the ass cap. Next, with some masking tape, label your injectors. It's important where they go. Disconnect the vacuum line from the fuel pressure regulator. And I'm going to wait and let this engine here cool off before I uh, remove the fuel lines. It's a little hot in here yet, and uh, I'm just going to let her cool down before I move on to the next step. I'm just soldering up, uh, getting uh, the new connectors prepped up. Here is uh, the new one, and I've uh, got her stripped, and I'm going to be doing uh, two layers of uh, heat shrink here, and uh, I'm going to be reusing um, one of the old boots. You know, they're uh, 20 years old, and they were starting to get a little dry. I have... Uh, product that I use in electronics called Rubber Renew and uh, I liberally painted with a, a Q-tip that stuff on here and it softened them up pretty good. You know that's the best product I've ever known for um, you know, rejuvenating um, rubber and these uh, boots are uh, pretty good now. So there's my uh, new EV6 connector. There's my old stuff won't be using this stuff anymore. That's the EV1. Okay, let's go over to the engine. And if we take a look here, here's my number one. Got her stripped. So I will just be soldering those together. Heat shrink up. And five more to go. And then I'll uh, take off the fuel rail.
there's the uh, wires soldered up. Now I'll just uh, finish off with the heat sink and uh, number one connector is done. Well, finally got the uh, fuel rail out. Not the easiest to get out, but it's not uh, that difficult. Just takes some time and uh, some patience. Looking at these injectors, these are the originals. A little uh, gunked up there. But all in all, doesn't look too bad. But uh, that's the old. Clean that all up. Get the new ones on. Got all the uh, new connectors on. Okay, with the fuel rail off and uh, getting these injectors off, there is a clip that's up top here. This needs to be pried off a little bit. And then wiggle off the injector. Just finishing up the uh, installation of the uh, new injectors. Got uh, one more to do. Just putting a little uh, lube here. Somebody recommended ATF. So that's what I'm putting on here. Hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's dead on. Let's try and put the camera. Need two hands. Okay, so yeah, I took out the uh, old pressure regulator. There's uh, Torx. Make sure you got Torx bits. As you can see, that was a small one. I think it was this was a T3 or something. So uh, there's a few Torx taking out the um, fuel rail. So make sure you got those bits handy. I uh, yeah, also noticed that uh, there was this tag when I took off the uh, fuel pressure regulator. Don't know what the significance of that is. That I guess when you see that's not there, somebody's messed with it. So I didn't bother putting that back in. Okay, so I have new pressure regulator. Cleaned up the fuel rail a little bit. New injectors. She'd be ready for installation. I'm ready to put the fuel rail back in. A uh, note of caution, I forgot to mention when I'm pulling the fuel rail out, make sure you do have some rags on hand. This is the fuel line that hooks up to the fuel pressure regulator. And then also, on the other end of the fuel rail, here is another fuel line. And uh, make sure you do have rags 
to uh, catch some uh, fuel that will come out. Okay, let me uh, just pop these rags out. Just had them covering the uh, ports. And I'm uh, ready to put this rail back in. Well, the uh, fuel rail went in a lot easier than it did coming out. So I've got all my injectors seated in there nicely. There's uh, four bolts holding down the uh, fuel rail one to one underneath the um, cruise control. It's a little difficult to get in there. I just loosened off that bracket a little bit. There's a Torx nuts there as well too. I took them off, but this bracket, there's something else holding it on, so it's still there. So it was uh, just loosened here and the cable's loosened off. I'll have to do that when you're taking the rail out. I finally got in all my uh, fuel lines. Had some uh, difficulties with the uh, O-rings on the uh, pressure regulator there, but I got them in. So I've done my uh, first prime. It's actually uh, dropped off there a bit. Okay, let's uh, do a start. Job is done. 